question 3 of multiple choice geometric sequence general term of a geometric sequence is f of n equals to a r to the power of n minus 1 where n belongs to set of natural numbers and r belongs to set of real numbers which of the following formula represent a geometric series it should be geometric sequence Do you know the difference between geometric series and geometric sequence? Normally, when we are considering geometric series, then we are talking about addition of terms in geometric sequence, okay? Or sum of terms in geometric sequence. And here, we are just introducing you geometric sequences, and we are not really talking about sum of the terms, okay? So we are not calling them geometric series. It is just a geometric sequence. Okay, a f of n equals to n 2 to the power of n minus 1. Is it a geometric sequence? Well, let's see. The term a, the first term should be a constant. It cannot be a variable, right? It cannot be 1, 2, 3, 4. It has to be a constant. Therefore, this general term does not represent a geometric sequence. You understand? For example, if I want f of 1, then be 1 times 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, right? f of 2 will be 2 times 2 to the power of 1. f of 3 will be 3 times 2 to the power of this. So, it will not be geometric sequence. Let me write this for you. It's a very important concept f of 1 will be, because n will vary, right? So it will be 1 times 2 to the power of 0, right? Which is 1. How about f of 2? f of 2 will be, n will become 2 now. 2, 2 to the power of 1, which is 4. Is it okay? And how about f of 3? f of 3 will become, this number will become 3, right? And 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. 4. It becomes 12. Now we have 12, sorry. So we have 1, 4, 12. 1, 4, the ratio is 4. And from 4 to 12, the ratio is times 3. Do you see? It does not follow. n has to be a constant, not a variable. Next term. f of n equals to 5. n to the power of n minus 1. Here again, n should be a constant, not a variable. So this also does not represent a geometric sequence. How about this? Minus 1 over 3, the first term is minus 1 over 3. And r is a real number. Square root of 5 is a real number, right? It's a real number, not a variable. Do you see that? So that is correct. This is our correct answer. Next term is, 5 into 1.25 to the power of 3 minus 1. That means 2. So it is just one term. There are not many terms, right? It does not vary. It is just a constant. Do you see that? So therefore, the option is C. f of n equals to minus 1 over 3 square root 5 n minus 1. So you have to take care. So your this exponent should have been a variable. It is a constant. Do you see that? We cannot have variable at these two places as n which varies. Do you understand? The only term which varies in our geometric sequence is the exponent n. n should be an exponent. See the formula. a is a constant, r is a constant, and n is a variable. Do you understand? That is most important thing to understand and I have seen this mistake many times in the test papers. I hope you take care. Thank you.